A camel is an even-toed ungulate in the genus Camelus that bears distinctive fatty deposits known as humps on its back. Camels have long been domesticated, and, as livestock, they provide food, milk and meat, and textiles, fiber and felt from hair. Camels are working animals especially suited to their desert habitat and are a vital means of transport for passengers and cargo. There are three surviving species of camel. The one hump dromedary makes up 94% of the world's camel population. And the two humped Bactrian camel makes up 6%. The wild Bactrian camel is a separate species and is now critically endangered. The word camel is also used informally in a wider sense, where the more correct term is camelid, to include all seven species of the family Camelidae, the true camels, the above three species, along with the New World Camelids, the Llama, the Alpaca, the Guanaco, and the Vicuna. The word itself is derived via Latin, Camelus in Greek, Kappa Mu Eta Lambda Omicron Sigma, Camelus, from Hebrew, Arabic or Phoenician, Gamal. Like horses, camels originated in North America and eventually spread across Beringia to Asia. They survived in the Old World and eventually humans domesticated them and spread them globally. Along with many other megafauna in North America, the original wild camels were wiped out during the spread of the first indigenous peoples of the Americas from Asia into North America, 10-12,000 to 12, years ago, although fossils have never been associated with definitive evidence of hunting. Most camels surviving today are domesticated. Although feral populations exist in Australia, India, and Kazakhstan. Wild camels survive only in the wild Bactrian camel population of the Gobi Desert. When humans first domesticated camels is disputed. The first domesticated dromedaries may have been in southern Arabia around 3000 BC or as late as 1000 BC, and Bactrian camels in Central Asia around 2500 BC, as at Shar e Sute, also known as the Burnt City, Iran. Martin Heide's 2010 work on the domestication of the camel tentatively concludes that humans had domesticated the Bactrian camel by at least the middle of the 3rd millennium somewhere east of the Zagros Mountains, with the practice then moving into Mesopotamia. Heide suggests that mentions of camels in the patriarchal narratives may refer, at least in some places, to the Bactrian camel, while noting that the camel is not mentioned in relationship to Canaan. Recent excavations in the Timna Valley by Lidar Sapir Hin and Erez bin Yosef discovered what may be the earliest domestic camel bones yet found in Israel or even outside the Arabian Peninsula, dating to around 930 BC. This garnered considerable media coverage, as it is strong evidence that the stories of Abraham, Jacob, Esau, and Joseph were written after this time. The existence of camels in Mesopotamia, but not in the eastern Mediterranean lands, is not a new idea. The historian Richard Bullia did not think that the occasional mention of camels in the Bible meant that the domestic camels were common in the Holy Land at that time. The archaeologist William F. Albright, writing even earlier, saw camels in the Bible as an anachronism. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like our Facebook page and share the video.